Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org. Coming to you this Friday morning, February 4th, we're looking at Window Traders Market Profile of SPY IWMN, Triple Qs. And I've been torn whether I want to talk about just what we usually talk about or, or talk about what transpired last night and again this morning. I think I'll do a combination. Right now, overnight high in SPY is 452.27. Overnight low is 445.13. You know, we talked about yesterday how <clears throat> you shouldn't be trading SPY or ES based on what the other indices are doing. Well, this is also a good indication you shouldn't even trade the indice based on what the stock is doing, even though it's in your indice, like Amazon. I mean, what transpired last night is almost comical, right? We talk about mindless machines and uned uneducated traders. I think the word's got to be ignorant traders because they, you know, they just don't want to put the work in. I mean, look what we did yesterday afternoon when we pushed down. We had three separate uh, rotational areas throughout the day, all went out with a price probe. Amazon earnings came out. Amazon went up 400. Triple Qs went from 352 to three, almost 362. It went up almost 10 dollars well here we are the next morning amazon's still up 340 dollars yet we're six dollars off the high in triple q's look at spy spy did the same thing spy went from 446 to 452 six dollars guess what we're a dollar off the lows we're actually below the base of the price spike or price probe fomo doesn't get it done my friends mindless machines don't get hurt retail traders do I did a consultation last night. The entire thing was on preparation and what to look for and what kind of homework we do both before the opening and after the close. You think these people do any of that? And believe me, I'm saying this all because I've been there, done that. So um, that doesn't work. And that's why 80, 90% of uh, traders blow up their accounts. It's just not going to work with FOMO and uh, trying to be momentum traders and things of that nature. You have to understand what's going on in the market, who you're trading against, and why it's happening. There's a lot of good people out there that do teach this stuff. Most of carnival, carnival barkers. Okay? Now, again, you're not going to find anybody who gives more effort and time in trying to decipher what's going on in the market and explain it live all day like I do. So... If you want to stop blowing up accounts and stuff, come check us out at CamelbackTrading.org for $30 a month. I, mean, I can't imagine how many people got destroyed on that move up and then down in Amazon yesterday or in EES for that matter. So come spend the 30 bucks a month and see if it's worth it in our trading room. As far as a game plan, well, at 8.30, we have another number. These numbers are just so meaningless to me that we'll send these algos into a tizzy, the big non-farm payroll. So, you know, whether... Whatever it does, whether we go back up to the overnight high or, or make new lows, here's the bottom line. Right now, we're below the base of the price probe, right? I was doing the consultation last night. We were trading up here. I'm like, well, that price probe is not rejected yet. We won't know until tomorrow morning. Well, guess what? Here we are, 12 hours later, and right now, that price probe is being accepted to the downside as we're trading inside of the inside of the price probe price spike look at russell russell shot up after the bell also in sympathy with the whole market going uh, attempting to go up look at them they're gapping lower possibly right now again a lot can change at 8 30. but here's the bottom line if we open below the base of the price probe i'm looking for a short if we open inside of m's range i will look for a short against l's low any acceptance above it that trades over if come 8.30, the market decides to rip low and we gap low by a lot, again, it depends on the size of the gap. If it's only a dollar or so, I'll be looking to take a put play. We will have the 200-day moving average come into play um, at the 440. Let me see exactly where it is right now. Four, it's 443.15 right now. So we're still a ways away from it. So if you get a dollar gap and we fill those single prints from the 31st, there is pretty much a void down to... The 200-day uh, moving average and that weekly low. I'll look to take a short down to that. And then against the 200-day, possibly, um, I'll take a long the first time. Again, any acceptance below there? Nothing until the weekly low of 439.81. So those are early plays. If, however, in the next 75 minutes, after the number comes out, we open above L's low and in balance, well, there's not much up here either, right? 
You had the afternoon rally high. We were only eight wide. So if we open above where there were sellers last night, I'll take a long against this. If we get back below it, out. If not, good odds you're going to go and trade at least at the eight wide park and the overnight high. Uh, not the overnight high, the afternoon rally high. So again, it doesn't matter you know where we are between now and when the other number comes out at 830. But that's basically early game plans. Again, if you're in the room, this is being live streamed from 915 to 4, and I'm breaking it down all day, every day. We'll be breaking down all these charts tonight um, after the close. And then I'm just going to show you the daily. We came into balance yesterday, right? Markets don't go bull bear. We went bull balance. Well, if we take out yesterday's low, then I would call it most likely down, okay? Because then we went from balance back to down. If we stay inside or come back above, to me, it's just still balance. Right now, I'm calling this a three-day balance. I'll use yesterday's low. So if we do take it out, the daily would go to down for me. But right now, it's a three-day balance, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Good luck trading today. Have a great day. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. And we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.